Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again before I get into the business of the day. Big shout out to my man Timmy from Nigeria. People hit me up. What about me? What about me? I got love for everybody around the world, man. I appreciate your support. Now, let's get into it. President Trump gives the business to another Hollywood dummy, this time in the disgusting form of Chrissy Teigen, wife of equally shitty person John Legend. Now, John Legend has said some stupid shit about Trump. Whatever, TDS will make you say dumb shit like that. But President Trump was tweeting, talking about all these people who aren't giving him props for justice reform. You know, they didn't say shit when Obama was in office. They didn't say nothing. They were too busy rubbing elbows and dicks with Obama in the White House. Ooh, this is cool. We got a colored president. I don't care what he's doing. Fuck his policies. Fuck what he's getting done. This is cool, man. We get to be in the White House. I get followed on Twitter by the president. You fucking idiots. Because when Trump told you motherfuckers, he said, if you have somebody whose case needs to be looked at, let me know. I have a team of people that will comb through their case with a fine tooth comb to see if they need to be released. And if that's the case, they will be released. Again, Trump, the worst racist ever. He keeps releasing black folks from prison. So when he did that, none of you fools had anything to say. None of you over overpaid crying bitches from the NFL had anything to say. You didn't give up any names. But whenever you talk about this great prison reform, you never give him his props. That's what he was saying. He called out John Legend. He said his uh, disgusting mouth. (laughs) (laughs) And then he called out some dumb piece of shit wannabe reporter on CNN. That when they talk about it, they don't mention that he's the one who's doing it. And so Chrissy Teigen came out and called the president a pussy ass bitch. Girl, you're disgusting. Now, I'm sure people said shit about Obama. So what? I'm sure it was the same thing for him. It was BBs off of battle shit. Pew, pew. You don't even feel it. But it's so funny that they get so upset when they get caught out on their bullshit. Why didn't you hold Obama to the same standard? Why didn't you have the same visceral response to the stupid shit that Obama said because you couldn't you were too caught up your nose was open it was like in those old cartoons where if there's a, a some a fresh baked pie or something you'll see the scent of the pie come floating out and it'll find the cartoon character and the cartoon character will be like that and they'll just float through the air until they reach that pie or whatever that wonderful scent is coming from that's what you guys were like you guys were under a spell You were perfectly happy being in the White House, tossing Obama's salad instead of making sure he got shit done. How many black folks did that fool release from prison due to prison reform? How many black folks did he even help? Probably none. Because you fools were so happy that we had a colored person in office that you didn't even think about or concern yourself with what he was doing. He didn't have to do anything. He didn't, except fuck us over, except leave us in this thick, viscous liquid of you can't say shit to hurt people's feelings, this thick, viscous liquid of it's okay to be racist against white people, this thick, viscous liquid of, yeah, men are women, women are men, up is down, left is right. That's what he left us in. He left us with zero respect throughout the world. That's why China was punking us. That's why Russia was punking us. Because you got this Ken dog crotch, soft handshake pussy in the off in our office of president who won't do shit. He's in the middle of the group. He's surrounded by China, Russia, some Iran, some other Middle Eastern countries just shoving him around. Come here, you fucking nerd. Give me your money. 
Sorry, I'm Obama, and I will give you my wallet with no problem. That's what we had. That's what we have in the White House is a lazy pussy that didn't do anything. So now that we got someone in office handling business, y'all don't want to mention that shit. It's all right. You don't need to give him his props. We'll give him his props on November 8th of 2020. We'll give him his props in the voting booth. We'll give him his props by putting him back in office for another four years so he can get shit done. That's all we want. We don't give a fuck who's hobnobbing, rubbing elbows at the White House. Fuck that. What are you doing for us? We're selfish like that. We work hard. We give you our... As a matter of fact, we don't even give you our money. You take our money and give us what's left. So the least you could fucking do after stealing too much of our money is do what we ask you to do. But these Hollywood elitists are sick and disgusting with that TDS, and that's fine. I can't wait to see what your Twitter accounts are going to look like, what MSNBC and CNN are going to look like morning after Election Day 2020 when we put this orange motherfucker back in office for another four years. What are you going to say then? How many of you lying sick pussies are going to say, I'm going to Canada if he wins? Knowing Canada ain't going to take your punk ass. I'm leaving America if he wins. Leave. Don't even wait till he wins. Just jump the gun and fucking leave. We don't need you. You guys can't put out good music or movies anyway. I remember seeing a meme like a month ago of all like the top five movies. They were all fucking remakes. It's like we're in 1990 all over again. Man, get out of here with that shit. We don't give a fuck what you guys think. You don't even live in reality. You live in this padded world of Hollywood elitism. You're not normal. You're not one of us anymore. Chrissy Teigen, you may call the president a, was it a pussy ass bitch? Where you are a disgusting piece of shit. This is the same Chrissy Teigen that was showing her ugly flapjack titties on Twitter a couple weeks ago. Getting mad at people for talking about them. Girl, put those nasty things away. Looking like when you go to the store and buy someone a Mylar balloon for their birthday. And three days later that shit's barely hovering off the floor. It don't even go against the ceiling anymore. Woman, you're disgusting. Let me get up out of here and enjoy my day off. I just dropped my son off at preschool. I got three hours to kill people. Who knows what kind of trouble I'm going to get into. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. I am Jericho Green. <laughs> Man, I'm out.